Hi, it's Warren from the ICA, and today I'm going to grade this Arri Alexa shot. Uh, I'm using a 17 inch laptop, I'm using the wave control surface, and we're running 703. And today we're using Resolve, as you can see. So I like the Alexa, I graded some of this last week for the launch in Australia, and I will start off by adding some more contrast. Now what I noticed here now, as when I graded it, okay. I didn't use my colour balls at all on this. All I'm doing is adding contrast using my black here, my lift, and then my gain to add some contrast. I want to be careful though in my first node that I don't you know, clip out this information here, and I still want to see all this lovely texture in here. So I don't want to go too strong with that first node. Now today, as in last week when I degrade it, the thing that uh, slightly troubled me here was this green, this source here, this green coming from another light source there. A little bit of mixed lighting. I want to get rid of that. I need that to balance this side. So I'm going to open up a new node, a new serial, and if I go down a level, we're going to turn on a window. I'm going to just use the mouse here. Sometimes I find moving the, the windows around quicker using the mouse. And also what I tend to do is to wind the softness out. I then, probably with my mid-tones here, edge some of that green away. I'm using a little bit on the game ball as well. When I'm happy with that, maybe I'll just drop the level down. That's not going to harm that. Then add the softness in there. I can turn that off just by left-clicking, just to the left of the number there. So I can see what that is doing. Yep, that is helping me. Let's put that back on. I like to enhance what the DP has given me. And there's some great shadows in this shot. So I'm going to make another node, another serial. And this time I'm going to put just a little shape down here. And I'm going to stretch out my aspect across the floor there. And let's just richen up those shadows. Put some more contrast in there and just bring them out. I like those. I'm going to soften that through the aisles, through the pews in this church as well. Let's come out here and let's see what that's doing for me. If I use a shift and plus, I can zoom that up, come through to my panel. I'm going to take that cursor off. And also, if I go up arrow on my keyboard, on my uh, Mac keyboard, I can turn off that grade. That's how it started. That's how it is now. I like that. I just feel I want to focus in on her. She is, uh, as I like to say, where the money is in this shot. So I'm going to add an overall vignette around it. So on my surface again, I'll add a new serial node. Just come back here so you can see in my color page what I'm doing. And again, I'm going to turn on a shape here. Again, I tend to leave the softness out until I have done the grade. It will automatically default to the middle, so I need to use the inside-outside button. And then I tend to use just the whites and a little bit of gamma just to drop that down. And let's come in here to this guy, like that, and I can just then soften that through, change my aspect, maybe drop that down a little bit more like that. Now that's really starting to focus in on her there. Now if I want to disable that as well, I can come out here and I can just left click on that guy there just to see what that's doing. Of course you can do that on your panel as well. I just now want to lift the center of that having done that so I am going to control click on there gives me my inside node so it's added an outside or an inside it just does an invert and then I can just lift the beginning up there sorry not the beginning just the middle of that node one more time come out here good tip turn things off and on do that a lot that way you can show your clients there that's just doing that Overall, up arrow, how it started, showing your clients, clients how much you have done to an image. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, please check out the Facebook page or the ICA International Colorist.com website. You're already on the Vimeo page because you're looking at this. Thanks for listening. It's Warren.